So the graph of y equals 1 over negative 2x squared minus 0 0.5 was reflected in the x-axis, and the image is shown. So what we're seeing here is the image after it was reflected. We need to write an equation for that image. Now, looking at that graph, it's not one that it's easy to just look at and say, I know the equation. We have to take this information that we're given. Okay? So here, reflected in the x-axis. So if you think about what does that mean, that is a vertical reflection. That means your y values were multiplied by negative 1 to flip it over. In function notation, if the y values are multiplied by negative 1, that means that there would be a negative outside in front of your, your function. So the negative is outside. So here is the original equation. If we want negative f of x to be our reflection graph, our new equation will be negative whatever our original equation was. Does that make sense? And so here inside, what was our original equation? It was 1 over negative 2x squared minus 0 0.5. And you could leave your answer like that and you would be done. Okay? That being said, if it was a multiple choice question, okay, I'm going to give you possibilities along the bottom in three different colors, and you have to tell me which one's right, which one's wrong, or if they're all right or all wrong. Okay? So it's a little bit of a puzzle here. So here we go. First one. There's the one in green. Next one in black. Next one in purple. How many do you want? Three is good. Don't want to overdo it. All right. There's three of them. I decided to simplify this. With, and put that negative that was outside the brackets inside the brackets. Did I make a mistake three times? Are they all wrong? Am I awesome and do the right every single time? Are they all right? Oh, no. No teacher would do that, right? Are, is only one of them right and two of them wrong? Or are two of them right and one of them wrong? Oh, my goodness. I don't, I'm not telling you. They might all be right. They might all be wrong, right? I've, it's Thursday. I've had all week to warm up. I must be getting better at math, right? So maybe one of them's right. Or what about maybe two of them's right? Or maybe all three of them are right because I've... You think the middle one's right? You like that one? Green's the only one that's right? Okay. You're going to go with four. Okay, the hint, the hint, there, yeah, the one in blue. The one in blue was right to begin with, so I'm going to just stick with that. Okay? <laughs> I've now decided I'm not simplifying anymore. <laughs> Never again. Okay, I will tell you that they're not all right. I will also tell you that they're not all wrong. Whew. So now you have to decide if there's one right or two right. <laughs> so the question is, if the black one and the purple one are right and the green one is wrong, what went wrong in the green one? What happened? 
and what went right in the black and the purple one. Okay? What went wrong in the green one? I applied the negative to the numerator and the denominator. That would be like I multiplied the top of my fraction by a negative one and I multiplied the bottom of my fraction by a negative one. But if I did it to everything, what's negative one divided by negative one? Positive one. And it's no longer a negative. So that's what went wrong in the green one. In the black one, I decided in my fraction here to just have the negative on the top. I multiplied the top of my fraction by a negative one. The bottom I multiplied by a positive one. Because when you multiply fractions, you multiply the tops and the bottoms. So I changed the negative out in front into a fraction. And I put my negative in my numerator. Can you see that's why everything's negative? In the purple one, I took the negative off the top and put it on the bottom. Would you agree that 1 over negative 1 is still a negative? And then I distributed that negative onto the bottom. OK, questions are 7, 8, 9, and 12. I'm putting asterisk beside 12 because you need to remind me tomorrow to go over 12. OK? Because 12 is a little bit different. Again, on your final exam, it's written by the province. They try to put a couple questions that are a little bit different on every exam. So you have to think. So you have to problem solve. And so number 12, I think, is one of those ones that's a little bit different that make you think. So I want to see, you have the tools to figure it out. But it's not like a question we've done, so you have to think a little bit. See if you can figure it out, and then we'll discuss it tomorrow.